Oh yeah. The Nintendo 64. I just realize how much PlayStation I've played in my life. That opening always uh, takes me back. I've never seen this Capcom logo. Same. Not the logo, the, an the animation. They did a lot of logos, though. Yeah. Uh, I'm, my, to, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot how scary this game is. I'm gonna have to stop. <laughs> so uh, this isn't just PlayStation. This is really early PlayStation. Well, not like super early, but like '96. It's early enough you don't have the analog sticks. Yep. Apparently, they made a version that uses that. It's early enough to and, where uh, they're just like, "Oh man, FMVs. We gotta have them." Oh, that Jim. Yeah, apparently that was that a budget Jill. thing. Yeah, they, they wanted full CG, um, oh yeah, set in the not-so-distant future in 1998. <laughs> um, they wanted um, CGI cutscenes, but they just they just could not afford it. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City. Where we're I've never seen this. You're in for a treat. I, I, like, I've heard of this, like, so much, but I've never actually watched it. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims <laughs> were apparently eaten. Horror in Bravo Raccoon! went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. So this game's like low budget, very experimental to say the least. Made by a guy who like originally uh, worked on Disney games. Yeah, but he had that one game. <laughs> and this is also like proposed. Are you familiar with Sweet Home? Yeah, I read up on that because I. Because this is Sweet Home kind of set the uh, foundation for this. But anyway, sort of. We soon discovered why. Talk about that. Is this FMV Japanese, or like was it like? It's Japanese made. Yeah. The Japanese version is uh, uncensored as well. There's some uh, censorship going on here. Like this bit. So... Yeah, that's censored. So in the Japanese version you actually see the, like, the severed hand. Right. Also, I'm pretty sure that was like, Motoro. Oh <laughs> fuck, it's a werewolf. It looks like a xenomorph. He's shooting himself. The enemy's not gonna hurt me if I hurt myself. Go, go. Fuck you! I like this is in black and white, but we still have like a limited color palette. Yeah, this suck sounds. Jill, run for that house. Hey Google, Bulb off. <laughs> the cat was inside that creature's mouth. Miss Redfield. He found the color. Jill Valentine. Eddie Gordon. I was about to say that. Mary Burton. <laughs> How does this thing work? What is this? Rebecca Chambers. We're not gonna see you. Albert Wesker. <laughs> He's never there gonna go he anywhere. Is. <laughs> Resident Evil. Resident Hazard Bio Evil. Now this is a very uh, important game, and I don't want anyone making fun of any aspect of it because it is this? perfect. Wow. Yeah, my favorite part is the big Man. Turkish bullet watermark. Oh the yeah. The entire gameplay. The survival horror staple, as we'll f hey, probably Wesker, find. Where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Maybe it's Chris. 
Now, Jill. Chris, how did you, you get lost I'm already? Chris is our old partner, you know. How is okay. it? Okay, let me handle this. Just imagine modern Wesker voice writing, reading all the time. Okay. Is this, uh, this... Well, the remake voice is actually close-ish to the modern voice, so you'll kind of get that. <laughs> this is dubbing, right? Like, this isn't just like a House of the Dead No, thing. no, 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 this is, this is the original voice acting. Oh. There was no Japanese dub. Oh, okay. So uh, it's like House of the Dead. Uh, oh. fuck you. Bye bye Oh, I've never seen this. Okay. Jill, I told you to go in there, you fucking any gunfire. Okay. Well, I didn't see that cutscene, probably because it seems very pointless. And these are obviously to mask the load times. All right. I don't think pretty creative for uh, this early on in the PS1 lifespan. Yeah, it's, I mean, you know, say what you will about the time controls, but it was like, what? just the best way to control it, honestly, what is this? in that day. What is it? Blood. Can you use blood stains? See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope yep, this it's is blood. Not Chris's blood. I love how you went, what is this? And she responded by going, what is this? I just asked that. I don't know. Don't, you don't need that yet, but okay. How about an emblem? Uh, so, uh, Jill can actually carry more stuff than uh, Chris can. Chris is kind of like hard mode. Uh, Jill can also pick logs. Oh, yeah, this famous scene. Oh, yeah. I know that Jill is. Hi. She's like easy. She's easy mode, but which sounds kind of sexist, but it's actually because she's more competent. First zombie. I say, like, what is it? One of those things where it's like poor balancing, or did they just intentionally make her easier to play? No, no, no. It's intentional. She's a uh, easy mode. Like not she uh Chris has two less inventory slots, which is fucking pain. It's too I mean, quiet. It, it, it's workable, but I honestly just have a better time playing Jill. So um just a prefix, uh just before we go into the whole series, um I'm not an expert on this series, in fact I was kinda late late to it because my first really? one was RE4. Uh and I always thought this series seemed neat, but I couldn't get into it. Oh no. Let me take care of this. <laughs> <laughs> it just ends. That's a lot of magnum shots for a normal zombie. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. <laughs> Maybe. Let's report this to Wesker. <laughs> huh? Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so the first one I played was RE4, and then I... I couldn't quite get into the classic ones, I tried multiple times, and then I just flat out bought Resident Evil 2 on the PS3, and, I, and by paying money for it, I actually stuck with it, uh, and then I just really got into like the classic games, with their weird Let's tank go! controls and inventory management. Help me look for him, Jill, and don't leave this hall for the time being. I mostly watched people play Resident Evil 4, and then I co-opted 5 like a million times. <laughs> Uh, hi. Oh. Oh, they've got a bit of CG. I think if you do that in remake, it actually spawns a uh, zombie dog in there, which is fun. <laughs> There's also a whole room under that stair. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. I can't figure out where to put my hand. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> now he must be eliminated. Let's search for I've seen it to the future. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. He's gonna do really shitty things to my character. Gigantic. <laughs> He's gonna tell me blonde for some reason. <laughs> we should God. start from the first floor, okay? And Jill, here's a lockpick. 
It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. <laughs> Every line he says is classic. Yeah. It's just something about his intonation and his voice. Like everything he says is hilarious. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time I'll be there. <laughs> if something happens to one of us, we'll both know instinctively to go back here. <laughs> If one of us dies, make sure we meet up here. <laughs> if you want to die, do it in this room. So, uh, limited saves, if you don't know. Oh, really? Oh, hey. You can only save if you have an ink ribbon. Ah. So it's 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 to stop you like save scumming. And honestly, like it sounds annoying, but it, it, there's plenty of ribbons, and it's just. It kind of adds to the tension, because you, normally in most games, you, if you die, you're just like, yeah, whatever, I'll just reload a save at the last checkpoint. In this one, if you don't... If you're careful with your saves, it's like, oh, if I die, I'm going to like lose significant progress. So it, it sounds annoying, but it's... But the, it makes more of a threat of dying. Like, you don't... Chubby woman. Very nice. <laughs> Very classy, um, Jill. I, I mean, that makes sense. It sounds like something that's like you... The save scumming was kind of a problem whenever we had, you know battery saves and stuff where you just just save yeah, and forever you, and there's no consequences aside from and every time, time yeah and every time you get hit it's significant it's a bit like like a like a modern rogue like or and i'm really sorry to use this example but dark souls like yeah uh, because if you go back if you die you actually have to uh do stuff again it makes more sense like a survival horror where you know your resources yeah. are important, including being able to even save the game. Exactly, but there's, to be fair, like there's there's plenty of ribbons. Like there's never, you have to like really like fuck up to actually win out of the things. It makes you save more carefully, essentially. That's it. Yeah. It makes you actually think about it rather than just you know you do it because, you know, essentially it's like auto saving, but you have to do it manually. Exactly. And then there's also um, the Resident Evil 2 remake uh, and ink ribbons were put into hard mode. So <laughs> hard mode, you, you once again have to think about your saves. Yeah, it's it's more about uh, inventory management, you know, like optimal pathing. The, can I just point out the music is kind of screwed up here? How so? Um. Just sounds wrong. Like the instruments have been cut off. It sounds like an emulation thing. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. This is that one uh, remake soundtrack. <laughs> it's not that bad. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, the statue. What do I do? This game is also like very primitive. It was like, like I said, it's very low budget, and it just as soon as they like, it was a success. You'll see a, a significant jump in quality to Resident Evil Two. Like it is a still the same gameplay, but it is a huge step up in terms of just production values. Fuck that statue. Yeah, you have to fuck up the statue in this game. Wait, don't but, uh, push that statue. The original plan was actually to do this in first person, but they couldn't... They weren't satisfied with the amount of detail you could get with all polygons on the PS1. Yeah. That's why they've got these pre-rendered environments. Which I didn't awesome. realize how popular this uh, style of uh, graphics were, where everything is pre-rendered aside from the models. Like the character Pretty much models. the only way to make things look... to make the environments look decent, honestly. Yeah. And these environments are pretty bland compared to 2 and 3, which are on the same hardware. Again, bigger budgets. Oh, so. oh god. Yeah. What? There's also, like, what? barely any diversity with these zombies. They all have, like, the same lab coat on. <laughs> hey, come on, do a German suplex on them. <laughs> Not yet. No, it's chill. She does like her Koanas, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Hello. 
You know how easy it is to cut their arms. The knife is like, like this place is really good because I'm I'm not this good with a knife. <laughs> that puke attack is like if if they can't grab you. It's like a secondary kind of attack. <laughs> they tend to do it if you're like up on a ledge or something like in a weird spot. Vitamins. See, she's, she's already got six. So. Oh wow, yeah. So this is the item box, and this any it's like a magical box. Anything you put in here uh, can be accessed from any safe room, which makes the whole game a lot more bearable. <laughs> Apparently, in early versions, um, or maybe like the initial American version, uh, these things didn't interlink. So you, you could just put them in a box, just if you wanted to, I guess? <laughs> well, you still have to free up your inventory, it just means you'd have to go back to that specific room to get it. Yeah, yeah. You also can't just put things down. Oh, really? <laughs> which you, yeah, which you could do in uh, Zero, I believe, but no, you need those boxes. No, yeah, I, 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 I can't, it, 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 I can't litter. There's no littering allowed. I don't know if that's like the PlayStation VAM or something. Uh, I'm sure even the PS1 could handle the, the, the coordinates of one item. I'm wondering if we're even going to get the famous dual sandwich scene, because uh, you can actually avoid it. Uh, later, loser. I want to point out that the tank controls are very necessary for these camera angles, though, because... Uh, the remake, the HD version of the GameCube remake, actually lets you just use traditional controls. But every time, like the camera changes, obviously you where you're holding, yeah, yeah, you have to you've got to recalibrate. Every time. Yeah, so like, as weird as the tank controls are, they are necessary. Now that makes sense considering the way they do camera. Like, you kind of have to do that. Exactly. I always want to say this is like the Sonic one of the series. It's like it's good, but then the like the sequel is just so much better. <laughs> Will you take the clipazine? And then there were all oh. these weird spin-offs and unnecessary <laughs> sequels. Actually, no, there were more necessary sequels in this series, I think. Oh, she's not. She's not reading the the, the uh, journals and stuff, which is fair enough, because this video would be way too long if she did, but uh, I think that's the journal of the famous uh, Itchy Tasty dialogue of uh, just a guy who's looking after the dogs, he just gradually turns into a zombie, and it's right. sort of implied that that guy that just burst out the closet is uh, was him. Oh, oh no, it's oh, okay, a here we go. diary. Yeah. What a scumbag. Steve the Researcher. Ah, oh, take care of a new monster. A gorilla without any skin. That sounds fun. The music is really screwed up. Fuck dogs! A giant bandage, and I, I don't need to wear the spacesuit anymore. <laughs> I'm explaining zombie dogs. I'm bad at dogs. Gross. Fuck that guy. <laughs> so a lot of the story is just told like that. 
is kind of the mystery of what happened here. And, and you imagine, like, getting into this game for the very first time, you really wouldn't know. Also, there's absolutely nothing supernatural in the Resident Evil series. It's all, like, science. It's not Silent Hill. I like how many different door models they came up with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're kind of forced to be creative. I guess I realize you're going to look at them a lot, so... Oh, yeah, um, Chris doesn't know how to play Moonlight Sonata, so... But Joe I mean, does. To be fair, I don't either, so I could sympathize. You don't? No. I thought most people do. I like how uh, out of context it's like, why why does she play Judge? <laughs> but then it's like, oh, it's obviously a puzzle. Chris has to get Rebecca to do it. This is my favorite track from Earthworm Jim 2. <laughs> wow, what a ripoff. Chill, there's no blind cave So you wander room. into this room, you, you like push a bookcase, you're like, oh hey, it's some music, I'm going to go play it on the piano. Then of course the door opens, because this is an adventure game. The funny thing is, like, the the, the architect, architecture of this house is actually a key part of the plot. Like, all these weird puzzles and shit, they actually explain. Um, I don't know how much of that is Resident Evil 1, how much of that is the remake, because there's a, uh, like, a sort of a side antagonist in the form of Lisa Trevor, the architect's daughter. But basically, they got the, this guy to build this house, and because he knew all the secrets of the traps and everything, uh, they had to uh, kill him. <laughs> Yeah, to, uh, uh, you know, chop his hands up so he couldn't build any more traps. Oh, I mean, kill him. <laughs> uh, well, it's kind of worse than that. They kind of, uh, zombified him. And his family as well. They use his, uh, family for experiments. But we'll, uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to the Trevors. <laughs> oh, hey, the consequences of, uh, that thing I did a minute ago. It's a Chaos Emerald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love her pushing a statue over to doing blue spheres, so that's all right. I like how how good this long play is, but the music's fucked up. Like there always has to be something. I know, yeah. It's a good thing to put a big watermark there, so I know who to blame for this. <laughs> At least the music is ambient and not. Yeah. It's not the. Uh, I just we think well, I didn't put on director's cut, all right. That's funny. I'm sorry, that shit's funny. So yeah, it is. So, no, uh, Resident Evil DualShock Director's Cut has wacky trumpet. I don't know. It has <laughs> bad. <laughs> it sounds like weird Earthbound music. Well, they got a Japanese composer who turned out to be like a con artist. So. He was like, yeah, he was supposed to be like deaf or something, so he was like a Japanese fucking Mozart or whatever and just turned out to be a fraud. <laughs> Yeah, and like, it's kind of implied like maybe it's, uh, whoever was like ghostwriting his music wasn't around for that thing. But there's also the idea that that particular track is just using the wrong instrumentation, like someone just fucked up the programming, so. Ah. Was it Beethoven or Mozart? Suppose... Anyway. Beethoven, I think. I don't know shit. Of course, he went like Sonata. Oh, yeah, yeah. So... I just mean like, yeah, it was like he was actually hiring someone else to do it, and then just hired someone to make shit, so... It's just kind <laughs> of weird. <laughs> I've never heard of a remake having, like, worse music. Or, or well, re-release, whatever you want to classify it as. Imagine that was, like, the canon music. <laughs> <laughs> they use that in the GameCube remake. But enhanced, <laughs> like, with a full orchestra. <laughs> It was a weird thing, too, because it was just like, uh, they just re-released this game uh, on the same console just because the DualShock controller existed. Was that it? They re-released this game numerous times because, um... They did it <laughs> with Resident the DualShock, Evil. and then they did it with, oh, hey, a zombie dog. Doggy. No, man, that's gonna happen whenever you run into creepy stuff. Uh... That looks weird. Yeah. See, there some, like, sometimes when you use pre-rendered backgrounds, you don't... <laughs> you have to be very careful about where you put the fucking, uh, action-invisible walls. 
That's one of the most famous um, jump scares in the series, and they kind of subvert it in the GameCube version. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was going to say they re-released this game about 100 times because Resident Evil 2 was going through absolute development hell. They actually finished a version of the game that they that they deemed wasn't good enough, and they completely scrapped it. But it <sighs> exists. Which is uh, often called Resident Evil 1.5. Yeah, there's uh, a I'll lot of these games. A lot of the uh, games in the series have uh, go through development hell. Like Resident Evil Four had like five different versions. It's ridiculous. Oh god. Oh, I'll check the toilet. Just wander in there, immediately be lying for the toilet, look in it, and damn, there's nothing there. Yeah, this player knows what they're doing, so I don't know what that was about. A I mean. You wouldn't pick up anything out of the toilet anyway. I mean, who would do something so disgusting? Um. Uh, hmm. Welcome to the wacky emulation room. <laughs> I think I know what was causing that. Uh oh. There's a big polygon above them. What is this? Oh, hey, this painting of a shotgun. Oh, wait, it's just a shotgun. I'm That's fine. Good. I don't know what that mechanism was, but I'm sure I'm fine. The health meter says I'm fine. <laughs> That's oh. what was glitching out. <laughs> Christ. Oh, good. I'm glad we're seeing this. Oh. Um, <laughs> so, so if Chris does this, he's, he he just fucking dies. What? If Chris does this, he dies. There's no way out. Oh. What? What? Hey, do what's going on? <laughs> Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? <laughs> Are you slapping Jerry? the door? Help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Oh, yeah. Hurry! This way! When oh, okay. You see, you see a door open from this perspective. So if you, you uh, take the shotgun as okay. Chris, you just fucking die, because fuck you. There's a fake close. shotgun. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. <laughs> I like how, how she's like, wow, yeah, you're right, that was funny. Are you going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, to the dining room? Just had something I wanted dining. To now... Let's get back I suppose every room is a dying room in this Chris, game. Shall we? Well, I mean, that room was the dying room because of the fucking <laughs> crushing you, ceiling. Yeah, yeah. You know, I always <laughs> thought the Jill sandwich line was in reference to her getting, like, eaten by a zombie or something. Oh, no, no. Didn't realize it was her getting crushed by a random ceiling. Now you know. Isn't there, like, a shop in Dead Rising called Jill Sandwiches or something? <laughs> yes, yeah. The, um, yeah, as I was saying, there was like a dummy shotgun you put in place of that thing to for the weight, and then the crusher doesn't come down, and that's how Chris gets the shotgun. Which is a, yeah, a hell of a lot more effort. <laughs> okay, so this weird, like, camera snapping, like, would only happen if you use the knife this much. Right, yeah. So I realize it's annoying, but it's not that common. I see we're being I like... very conservative. You kind of have to be. I mean, this is this is a good way to play it. I usually just use up all my ammo. I love the way he's like he's sort of neutral. He's like, I've got to get my arms up. Oh hey, better do my zombie thing. Like, oh shit, she's here. I wasn't doing nothing. Just a zombie. Just being being zombies. Oh, is it time to comb in? Yeah, come time to comb in. So how do you just mix those herbs? You just kind of just mash them together until you get like a fucking. She carries a mortar and pestle on her, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of the implication. Oh, a chemical! The, Sweet. The later yeah, ones where they like get put in like little, uh, like beakers or whatever the fuck whenever you combine them. Yeah. Looks like it's just got a piece of some paper there, looks like I just mushed them up. Don't need weapons, fuck them. 
do need clips, though. <laughs> I need cl clips for my knife. No saving. Well, I mean... I think you get graded, actually, yeah, based on the number of times you save and shit. So... I think... There's a lot of these games. I also play this a lot in the DS. I was gonna throw a fit if they, like, actually added another, like, fucking climbing up a stair or, or <laughs> animation. <laughs> We're gonna load this one, like, flat bit. Anyway, DS? <laughs> uh, I just want to go down the stairs. I guess there was some zombie variety. You got the green tops. Yeah, yeah, tar man. <laughs> I don't think tar man goes down that easily. <laughs> Or any of those fucking zombies. If they made a game of that, you'd just be screwed. <laughs> no, Jill just has to use the lightning cloud. So, you probably know this game's known as Biohazard in Japan. Which pretty much makes sense, you know. It's a, it's about like uh, man-made, like zombie, like well, it's about a virus, really. Right. Um, and then, but they couldn't trade them out that in the West, so they got like, I think they got employees to vote for a substitute name. They came up with Resident Evil, and uh, much like the House of the Dead, uh, the name does not work for the majority of the series until <laughs> like the most recent entry. All right, yeah. The only I'll, leave the, the I'll leave the details in your hands, because that's the best way to acquire true knowledge. <laughs> I'm not actually writing anymore. <laughs> you unlocked it, considering you're the master of doing so. I was going to say, I played this a lot on the DS. This had a really, really good DS port. And had a lot of like quality of life changes, like the. Uh, I mean, so, some may call it cheating, and it kind of is, but there's like things like the Resident Evil Four style mapping the knife to just a single button instead of having to equip it. Uh, there's the quick turn, so you can do like a 180, which is seems kind of funny, but that was actually an innovation of like three, I think. Barry. Not much Barry is in this campaign. What's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. What's oh, wrong with this house? This hall is <laughs> dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's try to find Let's it. Pennywise. Just a moment. Yeah, yes. Pennywise. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. It can defeat Metal Gear. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Oh my god. Thank you. I'll take this then. He loves his Magnum. I was watching like the, the RE remake of that scene, but it was like a randomizer, some guy playing the randomizer. He was like handing her a, a grenade launcher in the cutscene, and then it just cuts to, do you want to take the dagger? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really, I, I really have to refrain from talking about the, uh, the differences with the remake until we get to it. <laughs> what I'm saying is I hope it isn't Chris's blood. I wouldn't mind if it was like Wesker's butt though. Yeah, I mean really. No. Oh no, not forest. Yeah, I think it was the helicopter pilot. Am I getting what? No, what? How did you hear? The Lacrosse no, carried no, him out of the helicopter. <laughs> ah, bird strike. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, uh, I, I forget. He's like with one of the teams. Yeah, he's probably with that Bravo team that came earlier. Oh, earlier. Jesus, that's generous. A bazooka. Hey. Again, I need to stress I'm not like an expert on this game by any stretch. Just kill a fucking random zombie with a bazooka. Is implied that's his blood. I guess it would be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's probably. Hope this isn't Forest Law's blood. <laughs> it was implied that he died to the crows, I thought, but I guess that was just a random observation. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's like, or maybe just the corpse finished it off. Corpse got pecked with by crows or something. Load. I need to imagine there's just one guy just you know, just have to model doors and stairs. <laughs> it, I mean they did that's a nice looking door for the PS1, nicely textured. When it's literally the only thing you're rendering, you can go all out. Yep. Created way to mass load time, so I'll give it that. So it was a weird time. For game development. I could do with some chemical. I think some chemical would be good in there. Uh, There's no, definitely not... a lot of sound effects being like cut off in the simulator. Weird. It's kind of funny, like, viewing this when they're, like, solving puzzles to things you haven't even seen are problems yet. <laughs> like, there's a, that plant that's just off-screen, and they're, like, they're doing the puzzle, and then you go, oh, there was, like, a plant there. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot, I take ages through this game. <laughs> Like, uh... What is even a lock? Oh, okay, there's a lock, okay. Is there some sort of map? Yeah. Okay. The, uh, that's one of the best things about the DS version, because the map is always on the second screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really doesn't need it, apparently. There's the, uh, she doesn't need that. A broken shot. I'll take it anyway, cool. though. Just ha I just add it to my collection of uh, random crap in a, a box. So yeah, when I get home thing. and open up my magic box at home, I can be like, yo. <laughs> That's how far reaching it is. I don't think you needed that shotgun unless I'm missing something. Because you can do the puzzle, it's just, uh, if you don't, Barry saves you. I've never- okay, I've never- I've never had this much ammo. Ever. Well, Three digits? Whoa! We haven't fired a single bullet, as far as I remember, so... I'm wondering if there's shenanigans going on here, I don't want- mm, Like, save states or something. I'm not I... saying this isn't possible, there's plenty of speedrunners, but I don't know. I think for most long plays it does involve uh, saves coming to some extent, because, you know. Whatever, as long as we see the game. Yeah, they it's... are making it look considerably easier than it actually is. It's more about having a presentable version of, like, a presentable run than actually being, like, accurate. Of course, yeah, yeah, as long as you're not doing anything too. It's better than the videos that just randomly go up. They have infinite health and speed in <laughs> the gameplay for no reason. <laughs> I mean, if there's one game you shouldn't have infinite ammo in, it's uh, probably the Resident Evil <laughs> series. <laughs> That'd almost be like more break. <laughs> almost be as broken as just invulnerable. <laughs> Not literally, but. Well, actually, kind of, because uh, then you wouldn't be able to. Art. Yeah, an object of art. 
The um, actually, if you had like invulnerability but no ammo, like I guess you would literally not be able to beat the boss. I don't know if there's any you can beat with just a knife, probably. I want to say that when I go into knifing them hard enough. Hmm? I didn't catch what I thought if you said that. Nothing important here. So Chris has substituted these uh, tiny little dis I don't know why, they're just disposable for some reason. I've never seen a disposable key, but... Um... Yeah, but she can just open them. They're, uh, standard Zelda-issue, uh, small keys. <laughs> right, yeah. Eventually you, you run up against the big door. Jill, here's a hookshot. Slug the zombie. Zombies sound so pathetic in this game. I don't mean like bad, I just mean like I feel sorry for them. <laughs> oh. Oh, the mirror is there, okay. Yes. I think you can unlock like alternate costumes as well. The access in there, but there's so many different versions of this game, I, I couldn't tell you what's what. <laughs> Go past the object of art. I want to point out this game's like comparatively very s simple compared to the sequels. Like the the sequels have like a lot more dynamic environments instead of just kind of these bland corridors. <laughs> <laughs> they all involve backtracking, but they're a little more interesting. And even the remake is uh, throws different things in once you backtrack a couple of times. This felt fairly samey so far, but I think just Oh god. Then that happened. <laughs> also if like if you if you're not like well, this player, you can sometimes the choice is just not to fight a zombie. And you just have to run past them every time. If you've like run out of ammo or you want to conserve it. But again, this person's making this look too easy. <laughs> You don't really have to get all of those. They're, they're not going anywhere. I better use all the take all these herbs for all that damage I'm taking. Dedication to a sense of place here. Yeah, I've always liked that. I like games with like one continuous environment. I don't mean like a uh, like an open world. I mean like just somewhere quite enclosed, like like just one building or just one like one one level goes to the next. Like Castlevania does that a lot. Kind of makes it feel like somewhere you can actually visit. Which I'd love to I'd love to visit the Spencer Mansion. I'm sure I won't die at all. <laughs> you don't need all those ink weapons when you're not saving, period. Man, it'd you know be nice if these things auto stacked. Uh, I think that's yeah, I think the later games did that. Oh my god. <laughs> You don't need to. We're doing all this inventory management on this inventory we're not using. <laughs> Just to show off how many bounds I've got. Oh, I think there's probably a boss coming up. <laughs> Judging by that choice. Pulled out a bazooka in an acid round, so, uh. Yeah, I said bazooka. I guess that's the grenade launcher. Yeah, I was gonna say. It's not really a bazooka, as far as I know. Yeah, in the beat maker, it's definitely a grenade launcher. I got a little confused by that. I was like. Because the, there's the rocket launcher, which you're. You unlock 
Um, in a lot of these games with infinite ammo, it's just like insta kills anything, just like a, like a gag unlock, and that's a separate thing. So. Um, um, I love that Turkish bullet remix. So I think Chris always has a light on him, so he doesn't have to get that. Someone say random crap? I'm in. No, there was a red herb. You ever notice video game doors always, like, swing both ways? <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was like prepping a knife because she just always has it in her hand. Can you imagine instinctively doing this in real life? <laughs> it seems more like she's in like a Zero Escape game. Let's find all the puzzles and. I can't talk to you because of the guy in the sunglasses. They had hunted me. The virus escaped. After it, they've become the living dead. Oh, good. Oh, no, not their humor. I know, zombies are so unfunny. Lord Raptor's pretty funny. Nope. I mean, this is a Capcom game, and here they are definitively saying that he's not funny. I like how it's his will. I don't know if that's legally binding. I like this. she has commentary on the state of everything she looks at. You have to be able to examine things. He's gonna do the earthbound thing, just no problem here. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a weird one. What? <laughs> I forget what they say about this. They give some sort of weird explanation somewhere. For the record, you do have, like, a map that just, like, shows all the rooms. So you, you do see where you've been, at the very least. You don't have to unlock that. I forgot how low-key this is compared to all the other games to have. <laughs> his name. It seems so, like, quaint and humble in comparison. Resident Evil 2 is like way more bombastic than this. You're sort of wandering around a match. Oh yeah, uh, they magically know when a key will never be used again. <laughs> they just have a psychic link, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's good well, for gameplay, but... Yeah. Richard, what Better happened? than Earthbound with like the 30 fucking items you never know if you're gonna oh, need. Oh yeah. This house is dangerous. Really? <laughs> Terrible demons. Ouch! <laughs> what kind of demon attacked you? Ouch! It was a huge snake. And also poisonous. Ugh. Aww. <laughs> Richard, <laughs> hold on. There is syrup. <laughs> oh no. I should have brought some with me. <laughs> no I'm an idiot. I'll go and get it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> there are terrible demons. One of them was a snake. It so, uh, killed the shit out of me. Also, I'm poisoned. It is possible to fuck this up. So he can die. I think it's a time-based thing. I guess it's part I of our different I'm more surprised that he can live. <laughs> Because you, you look to defeat these terrible demons. 
Oh, Dad, I've never seen a zombie called a demon. Terrible demons. Ouch! <laughs> the word ouch in the script, and he just went, ouch! <laughs> 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 That's a good railing there. Thanks for that, uh, whoever built this mansion. Dummy. Uh, that beat Spencer. Yeah, way to go, that, Spencer. That's the kind of rarely railing like that where that one specific part would be a vault location. It would be really annoying. <laughs> the guy from Bionic Commando should have known better. We'll say the safe, uh, safe room music is also like a tradition in the series. You get a lot of YouTube videos with like chill out music. <laughs> oh yeah. Ouch. I do love he didn't say like, you know, I left a serum in the blank room. He just said, there is serum and I didn't bring it with me. <laughs> yeah, I think the remake like Makes that more specific. The remake right. does a lot. The um, I know it's like he had like a gigantic chest wound, but the only problem is that he's poisoned. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he definitely looked like he should be dead from that terrible demon. There is certainly a lot of. Threatless backtracking. That's what happens when you knife everyone. <laughs> um, the remake does something to, to fix that. But I, again, I don't want to list out all the details of the remake before we get to it. Yeah. Here's the serum! <laughs> Richard, hold on! I'll give Just you a shot now! Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! No, oh, okay. Jill, be careful. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, your wounds are suddenly shooting blood out. That's what the poison does. Sure. I, I, I don't know what the again. I'm not an expert in this game. I think you just don't get the radio or something. I don't know. Say uh, about him being able to die. Apparently, he is going to die. It does affect the ending, but yeah, weird. Well, he was dead as shit. I mean, what is going on with that radio? Oh. My knees are stuck in one. I'm going to, oh, never mind, I'm going down. They do the, uh, the fake out death thing, but you know they're actually dead when they're just a pool of blood. <laughs> never need this. Will you ever use the clip? Ah, now it's time for a nice dinner. In this weird windowless room. That's actually a big find. Yeah. Yeah, with all the uh, grenades and the shotgun, I'd be surprised if we see a single pistol fired. What you don't know is the final boss takes approximately 200 pistol shots. Exactly. <laughs> okay. I just know that. This key fucking sucks now. Please discard. Ugh. Ah, mistake! I only know how to use a knife. 
fight poison with acid. <laughs> wow, this looks uh, really hard to kite. I shoot him in the ass. I'm afraid he thought she was switching to a knife. Hey, no, no way, come back. I want to talk to you. <laughs> ah, yes, the pendant of moon for defeating the snake boss. Why is there a giant zombie snake? It's one of the uh, experiments. <laughs> Experiment of I like snakes? Okay, mankind went too far. Mankind wanted giant snakes for some reason. Why don't that staircase was a load screen? <laughs> I don't know. Um, the Umbrella Corporation is is not smart. <laughs> They're kind of like evil for evil's sake. Like, this seems like a bad idea. Like, no, we get to do it. What's the name Oswald Spencer, I think. Well, the good news is, I think we're ready to move on to the next area, so... If you're getting sick of this house... It's just the mansion, but upside down. <laughs> I can't help but compare this to Symphony of Light, especially considering Chris and Victor have the exact same voice. Both have like, a lot of backtracking in a big mansion. Let's see if we can reach 255. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it overflows and you just have negative bullets. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We need to combine our ink ribbons. Really there we go. go. There we go. I mean, this would be necessary if they were actually saving. <laughs> And using the clips. Got my knife, I'm ready to go. Don't worry, we're, we're hoarders. Jill, the master of hoarding. I do like that uh, shot, overhead shot with the fucking uh, ch chandelier above you. Terrified of firing a single precious bullet. Should have called her the master of a knifing. Which is a, a game mode in the DS port. <laughs> <coughs> oh, that's alright. Yeah, cover up these cover up these ominous looking vents. <laughs> cool, random crest. It's kind of funny there's a storyline explanation for these weird crests and shit. <laughs> I understand you want to pl like make a long play like that doesn't encounter huge difficulties, but killing the zombies like really quickly makes this a lot less entertaining to watch. I'm not saying don't kill them, but man. I'll say, is this, how is this any different from other long plays aside from the fact that you might like use your gun occasionally? You might well you run the risk like running out of ammo, and then you have to like avoid the zombies rather than flat out kill them. And 
Yeah, I think the idea is that a normal player will not actually will actually have to flee from enemies rather than actually kill them, and they when they do be all, like a pers- all this backtracking, the zombie is still there. Yeah, there'll be like a persistent threat. There will be this. Also, there's also the matter of just not knowing where to go, you know, that kind of pads out the game a little. I wouldn't call that a good thing, though. No, I guess not. Uh, where will we get the combination for this? I think it was just like an uh, age thing. Yeah. The youngest, oldest. Yeah. The star. Do this birds just not attack? I can't. <laughs> okay, I swear I'm gonna the wrong person. answer, birds. You you press the wrong answer and they're like, fuck you! Ah! I think you might be right, actually. You have to be careful about running near them because it'll alert the killer. Who's the killer? Nemesis. Okay. Or tyrant. I don't know. One of those guys. You tell what me. What the hell is this Coliseum fucking corner? <laughs> I can't wait to get to the remake after seeing all this. Because it looks so different. <laughs> <laughs> that is a super oh well you don't even get to choose where you put them so it's not even a puzzle it's just get these things idiot oh it doesn't even matter what order you use them it just you use them yeah she just knows where to put them okay I mean the, uh, the, the text tells you where to put them pretty why weren't they just like four keys and four doors then? It's less fun. Because Oswald Spencer was a fucking weirdo and he liked weird, weird crests and things. He liked I, doors I guess that could like, be opened I mean, with. You picked up a couple of those earlier ones where, in a place where you were using keys and locked doors a lot, so. It kind of makes them feel like more special, as in like you know they're used for yeah. something big and important, like you know the door to this area. Yeah, and they are like more significant key items than just a key. Are they though? Because they're just they are yeah. Well, they're all part of like one thing, so you know the the themed I mean, like oh I know this is part of a set. I mean, it's got a theme to it, but they were just thematic keys at the end of the day. I realize that, but it's just. It's just wow. Like, is this an important door, though. Like, is it a door to like? This is yeah. It is a significant door. I'm just saying, like, it would have been at least nice to make that a puzzle where you actually had to solve it rather than mm. just put them in automatically <laughs> and make it. That that riddle thing sounded like it should have been a puzzle, didn't it? Yeah, it really. It, like, I don't know why it wasn't. Given what the rest of this game does. Uh, Jesus, okay. That's really abusing save states, because there's no way, like, you could guarantee that was going to miss. So I think that's the first time I actually saw, like, an enemy get off an attack, well, apart from the zombie puke. This is Brad. Star's Alpha Team. Please respond. Don't touch my blue herb. Is nobody out there? Brad, this is Jill. Yep. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team, it doesn't matter. Anybody, answer me. This is This is where the radio comes into its own. Brad? Brad! And what is going on with this radio? What is this? Oh? What? So there are blue herbs. They are for uh, healing poison. Which we'll never see used, I guess. It's a small number of enemies can poison you, so... Wait, so we got the serum for that guy. Did we actually use it? 
Yeah, and I think he lived just long enough to give you the radio, I think. Oh my god. I don't know, I mean, in the, I don't know all the different endings for this game, but it sort of imply that she used the radio to know the helicopter's coming, I guess. Oh, right. Yay, CGI. Yeah, you know, one game. Water temple. One day the uh, in game graphics will look as good as those. <laughs> Oof. I forgot about those. Ah, you! Oh, no, there's snakes. I forgot about that. Bye, fuckers! It's raining snakes. <laughs> oh my that god. water running sound. Yeah, what was I saying about this? Uh, all the sounds cutting out? <laughs> Every time, like, you just can't get a normal long play. I want to use this time to talk about the, uh, the initial American release. Um, you know that old chestnut about game rentals? Ah. Like, we want to make games harder to put game rentals. Yeah, uh, they're talking about auto-aim. Which is so... a fucking nightmare. <laughs> So when it you fire your gun, you actually have to, like, tank control aim it? Yeah. Which is alright against a zombie, but then when you come to, like, things that can actually move around, like some of the bosses, yeah, it's awful. There's also other changes, I, f I, f I forget, but it basically it was, like, stupidly hard. And it's already a kind of hard game. Well, you wouldn't know that from Master of Knifing here. I'm just doing inventory management on those dogs here. You don't do it. Uh, Hello, doggy. I forget if they're just zombie dogs or actual like Cerberus, like they're manufactured zombie dogs. Because there is a distinction, apparently. <laughs> well. I think there's a Cerberus. I think uh, when the virus reaches Raccoon City, you get dogs that just happen to have a virus. But they also like, oh my god, what has happened to the music? Uh, it is really off key. You know, because PlayStation One emulation is really hard. I mean, these aren't CD tracks. This is like the PS One's like sound chip. No, I mean, sound, yeah, but... it'd have to be to cause issues like this. It's mm. just... I didn't think we'd have trouble with this and uh, oh, this was recorded seven years ago, okay. Uh, I and mean, I didn't think to check, oh, is the, is the music decent? Because I, I didn't think that would be an issue. I wouldn't have guessed. I've never had, like, a PS1 emulation just, like, just screw up the music this way. Well, I suppose most things I play on a PS1, I mean, I'll use like Red Book Audio, like most of the most games from that time did. Yeah. Why even pick them up if you if you know you're just gonna save scum, like, so you will never get hit? So when you say you can't drop things on the ground, do you mean like nope. you can't like put them on the ground, or like you can discard them, but you you can like <sighs> destroy them, but you can't right. just put them down and. Pick them out later. Okay, so there's not uh, a reason. The fade spay. The fade spay. There's not a reason that like we can't just get rid of some of these items if we're not going to use them. It's just we are for some reason conserving all of it. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, no, no, he's he's wasting our fucking time. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is still a, a reasonable length video. Yeah, you, you can only wonder how short it would have been if you didn't do this shit. <laughs> I mean, you're cheating anyway, basically, so... Well... Not the most egregious cheating. I mean, when I I, I, I did a search, it's like, it was this in longplays.org, and I think that's all I found. You. Whoever do something so disgusting. Hope this isn't Chris's mud. <laughs> I was just taking oh, a mud cover. bath. I was about to say, probably. No, no, I can't use my Wait, precious shit, grenade. No. Oh, oh god. Shit, we're play hey, look, it's how this game's normally played. Isn't that weird? Okay, maybe not. not so wow. Bad. Wait, is that the shotgun or the grenade launcher? That's the shotgun. shotgun. It doesn't look like one. Uh. Oh, okay. I thought it was the grenade launcher. <laughs> it just looks like a, like a big old tube. Hey, there's the red book audio. <laughs> Good, I'll improve the music. <laughs> I have no basis for comparison, so it doesn't sound weird to me at all. Oh, I that's love a this. <laughs> Fuck a spider! Yeah, remember what I was saying about the auto aim? That she wouldn't like spin around to aim, she'd have to like really slowly rotate to face him. Him, Mr. Spider. <laughs> oh, well, they... at least we're actually using firearms finally. A very quiet creature. Yeah. What are you abusing that table there? I love it, it spawns a whole bunch of little spiders just for the hell of it. It's pretty gross, so look at that. Is that a pinball table? Oh my god. Oh shit, it's Gain. I am Gain. A oh, six it's... ball? Oh, in the pockets, I guess. Oh no, they're right there. Yeah, a little hard to see. That's cute. I do like that fun service DLC for Resident Evil 5, like, Jill says something like, oh, he always liked his puzzles, and Chris is just like, yeah, he's a fucking idiot, or something like that. <laughs> I don't think he put it in, the, in those words, but something to that effect. Yeah, I remember that was, that was a special dialogue in, uh... Like, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, it's just like, I found Wesker, that fucking idiot. <laughs> I know you well, probably met someone else. Are we don't. playing Lights Out? You mean, uh, Lights Out, available now for the TigerGame.com? <laughs> I've unlocked it, bye. I'm just the master of unlocking, just... Doing it because so I can. Oh, sweet, a dorm room key. Oh, Jeez! My favorite part of that randomizer video was when there's like a big cutscene to show like a boss sporting, and it was literally just one B. <laughs> <laughs> there's 3D models for that shit as well. I want to shout those. Bees are gonna turn people into zombies. Maybe? I guess they can carry the virus. I guess. I don't know. I'm not I'm not the bee expert. <laughs> I don't need this shit. Will you take this poor clip in? Is this the all clips one? 
<laughs> like maximum bullets one. <laughs> It's like, uh, it's like Doom, as soon as you get the shotgun, you never want to touch the pistol. Except in this case, uh, you just use the melee instead. She started with a Berserk pack, so she's fine. Yeah. I would explain, uh... Ah, point plant 42. The T virus. Yeah, it sounds for a terrific virus. Immediately after action, the scientist just went crazy and broke the water tank because fuck it. Whatever. Like so many bulbs. <laughs> oh, so we have a crazy mutant plant because the T virus made it this? The zombie virus? Just made it like this plan that kills people with vines? I keep forgetting this is set two years in the future. But I, actually, come to think of it, I think House of the Dead did the exact same thing. It was like released in 96, but set in 98. There's a lot of parallels between those two series, even though the gameplay is nothing alike. Look, I fought a dinosaur affected by the T virus. I'm not scared of no plant. <laughs> no, no, we're not, we're not doing Dino Crisis. Oh, by the way, this is... I think this is the track that's all for, uh, that's famous in the, for its uh, director's cut version. Ah. This doesn't sound a whole lot better. It's... well, it's not usually this distorted. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's usually like ambient, like, crying over it, but... But it's being cut off, so it just sounds like... Wah. We are literally doing a block pushing puzzle. Yeah. A very long one, too. Jesus. Uh, I've seen worse. A long one that isn't challenging in the least. I've seen worse in this same series. And that excuses this. No, it doesn't excuse this, but. <laughs> You say I'm that it's like, oh yeah, th oh this, I love this now. No, but it's comparatively tolerable. That's it. That's all you gotta do. It only required no thought whatsoever. <laughs> and uh, you want to see why uh, the randomizer has random land sharks? You had a feeling. Those weren't just completely random. Oh no, my butt! The sea room key because it's currently under the sea. I like how he. There, yeah, we can just open the door while it's half submerged underwater. Makes sense. I do think if I was in that situation, like a shark swimming towards me. It's probably one of the most terrifying things. <laughs> Just for its sheer, like, unpredictability. Are there sharks gonna be, like, flopping around now that you drain the water? What do you Wait, think? why did they pull- what, where did they get a shark to pull down here? Yeah, I was wondering, it's like, well, they broke the water tanks, so there's water everywhere. Okay, where did the sharks come in? <laughs> Well, it was the tank full of sharks they had, because they were like, well, we gotta have this this T-Virus. I mean, we're having so much fun with it, we might as well put it on a shark. They basically, well, if you actually, when you go through the whole series, yeah, there, there's a lot of that. They'll, like, inject <laughs> into fucking anything just to see what happens. <laughs> that sounds fucking awesome, let's do it. I think one of the Outbreak games, uh, which is like their, like, online PS2 game, um, the T-Virus reached a zoo. <laughs> the, you had to fight a zombie elephant. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Yes! Oh, 
That is nuts. Let me get it straight. We're conserving our ammo like crazy, but we're going to kill defenseless sharks. Fuck them. That's not necessary. We're going to not take a single hit, but we're going to spend ages um, managing our herbs and picking up every single one. Strange choices. I kind of feel like there's a fine line between being too slow and then like just doing this like hyper speed run kind of thing that makes it doesn't show off enough gameplay either. And it's just never the perfect balance, you know, up for a long play. Are they actually going in that room? I know what's in that room, but... Why can't our shotgun hold seven bullets? <laughs> hey, uh, excuse me, occupied. Reflections, nice little touch. I mean, this is the PS1. I was gonna say earlier, um, I don't want to like overemphasize this, but I do like that it's a real environment. Like the the actual layout of the house makes relative. <laughs> sense compared to like most video game settings of the time if you know what i mean i mean it's still fucking weird with all the puzzles and shit but i'm saying that yeah you can see that this is like the guard house for the guard for the uh the garden that's just outside of it and it's like separate from the main building and then there's a dining room and there's a the room a layout kitchen. actually has like some form of logic to it yeah it's a bit like uh a weird comparison but this is a bit like half-life how that would actually think about where it puts rooms and shit and like where would you find ammo and things like that although this is a little more random as item placement but the principle's there it's not just video it's game land, you know smell smell now a book is missing that's because you stole it <laughs> <laughs> what in the world I fired my I bullet. No, there's one waste bullet in my gun. I guess that's one way to make sure that you fucking read that thing about how to mix the thing to kill the plant is to uh, put it in front of <laughs> where you need to insert a book. Yeah. Uh, hi. Are we gonna v or are we gonna just shoot you? Yeah, usually v it, but fuck that, I guess. We're just gonna shoot the... Well, I've got enough ammo. I've got enough ammo to start a small war, so... So, yeah, we actually skipped, like, a big puzzle. Okay, the music's fucked up here, but to be fair, the original music is pretty fucking weird, too. Ah. Uh, Oops. Is the... is the video just... Is just Chris? I was... I was gonna make a joke about Barry saying her again. <laughs> and then, lo and behold... Oh, we love Barry. It's great. This really is easy mode. Yeah. Oh man, he's strafing as he fired. I know. And then so, he takes so a step back I... to watch his handiwork. Still, that V-Jolt shit doesn't matter for Jill. Okay. Kind of forgot that, or didn't know. You saved me! <laughs> Yeah. That's where the, all the chemicals. That was close. Thanks, Barry. Don't mention it. What a monster! You saved me. I yeah. What the hell is this place anyway? <laughs> Something's not right here. This What's place seems thing? strange. That uh, door with the keypad. That's where like, the the chemicals are kept, and that's a big puzzle. But okay. Apparently, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna stay in the soldiers' area and take a look around.
Though I'm sure there are still things in that other mansion as well. Anyway, let's start searching separately. Okay. What What is the puzzle? Is it just get the brown one like the book said? or Yeah, it's like um, each chemical has a number and then you mix it like, uh, like the water jug puzzle. Let's search separately and we'll meet up the next time you get in trouble and I have to save you. Yeah, I forgot how much that happens. Wesker! Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared I am safe. all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? You mean those terrible anyway, demons? It's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> He's so wise. He sounds like a young version of the guy that plays that him man. now. That we can't get into because they're locked well, I guess up. that's kind of up then. <laughs> yeah. For clues. Is it DC Douglas? I'll go to the other house. Yeah. Yeah, he just kind of like. Will you do that? That actually sounds like a guy who is basing his voice on this, but not exactly the same, you know? It, that's even more true when we come to the remake. It is very much like the in between of this voice and the RE5 voice. Wow. Makes sense given that they're kind of a lot happened to him. <laughs> yeah. Not even lucky at it. Well, okay, time to count up our clip now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 225. God, it really is going to, like, overrun, isn't it? Overflow, I mean. Why even collect them, then? 100%. Because it is our American God-given right. I got distracted by the description of the video, which has... It just says, Game, Resident Evil, North American title, Resident Evil, European title, Resident Evil. It's like, and okay. that's why it's the top result when this I typed in Resident Evil 1 long right? play. Yeah. It's broken. I don't know. Because, like, there wasn't... Wasn't really much else to go on. More tags, Resident Evil, Biohazard, Sony Computer, and Santa PlayStation, Capcom version. Oh my god, that uh, emulator's water. It's something so bizarre is it's like, I'm good enough at this game, and or save scumming, to make a long play. That is, you know, nearly perfect, quote unquote. But, like, I'm just gonna upload it and just tag the shit out of it, and that's all I'm gonna say. I am going to rank the algorithm. It's just weird, there's no personality behind it. It's just like, here is me, I've played a game. Yep, that's classic Turkish bullet. Yeah, my. Imagine whenever a sound effect cuts off, that's a save state. Oh my god. Shit, <laughs> 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 I took one step the wrong direction. Reload. Reload count 78 billion. This is the world's most inefficient task. I mean, kinda? Like, who. I've never seen a speed when they're like... What the hell? So you know how we're getting bored of like backtracking through the mansion? Well, we're gonna get something to uh, mix it up a bit. <laughs> um... Hi? Hi, I'm a thing. Hunter. Horror! Which, which are you I can't get a good look at it, but uh... <laughs> it's usually a bit more threatening, but Jill has enough ammo to, like, cover an entire army. She's got a shotgun. 
I mean, the shotgun is supposed to be used pretty sparingly, but it uh, doesn't really matter anymore. There's a switch. Will you play it? Oh, I wish it's not armed enough. We haven't even got the magnum yet. <laughs> Doom Book One! And they called it the Doom Book One. Oh boy, I hope it's the Doom Met. Ah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a key card. It really is the Doom Book. <laughs> like I said, they wanted this to be an FPS at one point. And then Resident Evil 7, that finally happened. Hello. Oh. Also, like, also take in mind that you'd have to know that's there. Because the player, like, just instantly, like, aimed. I mean, when you've played a game enough. True, but... Oh, right, this... <laughs> oh, we... to the wall. No, I only take grenades, shells, and well, I guess magnum, magnum rounds of bullets. It's more bullets than shells. They're taco it's shells. Bullet. He just kind of drop litters them on the floor. He kind of, yeah. Jill, I've been picking up all this ammo and not using it, so, um... Oh, shit. I'm really struggling with ammo, but I thought I'd better share this. I don't know how anybody died in this mansion, there's the ammo fucking everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing I was thinking about, like, it's, it's... The setting's, like, comparatively realistic for the time, but that doesn't explain why the ammo is just... everywhere lying on the floor. I guess there's... People trying to defend themselves, I guess, before they get zombified. I suppose you could say. If you want to be use your imagination. Or are the zombies with guns? Oh my god. I'm trying to think of an example out of that in this series. Well, there, like, was, in my... there was like the some dudes in like 5, but I don't know if they were actually zombies or not. No, they were like Ganados. Maybe 6, I forget. <laughs> I'm gonna ram this thing right up your ass. <laughs> Survival horror. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it really is a hard. And in the world of making this game look way too fucking easy. Those things are a threat. Like, I swear to God, they are. Next, we're gonna encounter the, the smoker and the boomer. It would be ridiculous if Left 4 Dead and Resident Evil crossed over. <laughs> wait. Did did they? Oh wait, yeah, they, they did. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Resident Evil Six, everyone's favorite. That was that weird. weird mercenaries mode. They just put Left 4 Dead characters in fucking everything. They do. I guess this. Yeah, I guess there was connective tissue between this and Dead by Daylight. <laughs> like Bill's being in both, which is fucking weird to think of, but. I mean, hell, Bill makes a cameo in Payday 2, for God's sake. They put, they put Left 4 Dead characters in anything. Oh my god, yeah. Well, I mean, Payday was an overgrown Left 4 Dead mod, so... It was, yeah. Before it went, like, wildly, like, uh, out there with its own ideas. But yeah, that Payday one. But yeah, they did think to put these guys in uh, when you revisit the mansion. It certainly amps up the difficulty and gives you something if you decide yeah. to kill the other zombies. Yeah, again, we'll get to the beam and how that, how that addresses it. I guess these are like the equivalent of the liquors with their, uh, the more odd child. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, like, the Lickers is just a way fucking cooler design than Hunters. A lot of the designs are just... Yeah, come to think of it, like, a lot of the designs 2 on was just way more creative, whereas in this it's just like, crows, a giant snake... It's like a big green thing. Yeah, like, frog thing. 
uh, like Tywin is kind of like the first kind of real creative monster they made, you know? Everything else is just a giant. I'm just going to wait to get the answer, but I'm actually curious, like, what the final boss of this is. Like, if it is or just, uh, is it just Tyrant in this one? It X is. Day okay. is approaching. Fight with the bow. <laughs> I forgot how early they used the uh, term BOW. Because I always remember that being really prominent in 5 in particular. White Umbrella. Hey, SK. You mm -hmm. sound like you've got a question. Do you? No. What is B.O.W. for a while? Yeah, oh, B I see. Oh. Big orange wig. <laughs> it's like bioorganic weapon or something like that? I think that's... You got it in one, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah! We got the blue gel blue one way KS back. KSM World. Yeah, you sell it to the merchant. He'll buy it at a high price. I love that uh, we still don't know what, the, what that guy's deal is. <laughs> I kind of love it, yeah. It's just like, we need someone you can sell shit to. What's the story? <sighs> <laughs> it's mysterious. We didn't write anything. <laughs> we couldn't be bothered. Woo. They seem very weak to the shotgun. I was gonna say, like, picture fighting that with a pistol. Okay. Well, I mean, we haven't seen the pistol, so I have no basis it for doesn't comparison. Exist. <laughs> it's a way to be exposed. Well, I mean, we saw, like, uh, we saw Wesker shoot a few rounds. Just imagine that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can, like, OTG <laughs> them and then uh, start an aerial rave. <laughs> you kill three bees. What a fucking badass. Actually, shooting bees out the air would be actually be kind of impressive. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good animation. <laughs> hey, Joel, that was good. We are actually running somewhat low on shotgun ammo. Kind of did like a, <laughs> a Kramer entrance. Hello, Joel. Like we were hoarding like shotgun so much, and yet we still only have enough to like barely kill every single one of these guys. Yeah. Like, testament if we weren't you know, perfect, or... yeah, then That's we'd tough. actually have to fight these people. And uh, I don't think the knife's good enough. That's... oh yeah. That's worth it. That is worth doing a uh, little fetch quest for. I am closing now. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Running low on shotgun ammo. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's not a problem anymore. We're upgrading. Typically in this series, like, the Magnum is, like, not, like, the ultimate weapon, that's usually, like, an unlock thing, but in terms of, like, the actual base weapons, yeah, they're pretty OP. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, all the shotgun shells, or just two Magnum rounds. Yeah, we have we even less than one that. One guy. We never found out if that was Chris's blood. Yeah, whose blood was that? I don't know, but I hope it isn't Chris's blood. So, like, the different campaigns... We'll elaborate a little more on that. It's just... Oh, yeah. Like, what's... Um, do they ever merge? No, although uh, Resident Evil 2 is like very interesting in that respect, but again, I don't want to talk too much about the sequels until we actually get to it. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll have nothing to say. Ah, spider! It yeah, so spider like, is. How different are they aside from how differently Jill and Chris play? Um, different like story because like Barry barely shows up. Actually, I don't think he shows up at all. Actually, um. Um, Chris's, like, side character is Rebecca. 
Uh, and he has a little side plot with her. It, it's... It's like different... So story, story beats. Yeah. yeah, and like the way some of the bosses are handled is different. Like, they, like Chris actually has to kill Plant 42 instead of just getting bailed out all the time. More it's, of the story thing. It's more like who your character, friend character is and what they do. Yeah. Like. Final encounter with Wesker is a bit different as well. Sadly, we're not going to see... Wesker, you're pitiful. And he sounds like he's just, he just sounds like he's going to cry. <laughs> Man, these characters have had a long history. Yeah. Apparently Chris is going to be in Muslim Evil Aid Village, whatever you want to call it. Oh yeah, yeah, he was shown. Wasn't he shown being evil? Yeah? So gingerly up the stairs. I only have a vague idea of which characters are even in the sequels. Hmm. It's like my, I, I kind of really don't know a lot about the series, despite how much I've heard about them. Hmm. It's always fun to like to check some of these things out, you know. Like you're kind of familiar with in passing, but yeah, you know, like sat down and seen. I've heard some of these voices before, but never actually in their context. <laughs> and it's still, <laughs> we say all the difference. Like when you see the actual context, it's like, oh, the yeah, voice acting's fine. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Oh, you know, oh, oh god. Hey, I'm just trying to play Moonlight Sonata. Broke a hole into the void. Yeah. Yeah, you can jump down there, you meet chaos. <laughs> Is that a door in the. Oh, hey, Joe. You're actually too I late this time. Interesting. Oh. Uh, do you... I, was, I was here to kill this boss for you. Very well. In no oh, comment about the thing you just walked through. I have a <laughs> Oh, Even if a voice clip well, for it, what is this? Using the rope. Wait. Sound of rope being used. <laughs> Wait. Oops. Hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. I'm bad at rope. Barry? Barry? Barry, you Fuck. Wait, was he holding that rope up and her with his just just his own weight? Have you seen the size of him? I mean, he is a PS1 model. He had to give me some credit. <laughs> oh, I do oh. remember him was in Evil Five. Oh god! Dude, elbow drops and shit. All I remember is that one of his like takedown animations was him just pointing a gun at something, going, "What is this?" Oh, it's stained the floor. Hey! I don't remember this at there, all. Jill? Grab the rope. Are you actually supposed to wait for him? Yeah, apparently. That's weird. I don't remember that. Maybe it's different if you just went off. Huh? I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> sorry. Seems like a fake out nervous. where you're pretty sure you're going to get Are hit, you but okay, like. Barry? What the fuck? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. I've never... I don't think I've ever seen this. 
<laughs> you didn't think to I'll just wait for him? No, to I think I just moved on him. because it's a video game. I just moved on. <laughs> You're just well, like, well, it. he said to wait. Yeah, no, exactly. And he fucking meant it. Yeah, it's very literal. Oh, there, there it is. It's a nice pride. Or maybe I did see that, I don't know. I played like the DS version like 10 years ago. So. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> this... Wow. Oh hey, zombies, remember those? Oh man, we're just shooting them now. <laughs> I mean, look at the trade off there one shotgun shell for seven. Hell, do we even have our knife anymore? We put it up, didn't we? Yeah, we put it away. It's kind of like this. The music runs like a fine line because the music is kind of silly sounding in the original, but this is like it is still distorted as well. It's... Two for one. Yeah, I mean, like it sounds stupid, but that's like the strategy of this game. If you can save ammo like that. It goes a long way, you know? Yeah. Especially in the remake. Dark. If you can decapitate two zombies at the cost of just one shotgun shell, that is actually very important to do in the remake. So this music's like really fucked up, right? Or does it it's, actually kind of sound like this? It, it's it's a fine line between... It is definitely fucked up in a simulation, but it's all... But it's it's kind of weird sounding anyway, so I can't really <laughs> articulate it. Like, I know how it should sound, but it's still weird sounding. I'm not talking so much the instrumentation as fact as, like, the instruments just keep constantly cutting themselves off. Well, that yeah, well, that's it. Okay. So. But a lot of his, like, sustained notes for ambience... Right, yeah. Wah, wah. Yeah, just the fact That's... that these things are cutting off is just like making the sound way stupider. And it's kind of stupid sounding anyway, I'm not gonna lie, but. No, it it's definitely. It more it stupid. Definitely seems just kind of like very early PS1, but. Kind of MIDI sounding, but. Well, they, 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 for ambience, they, they do the sustained notes, like, there's constant, like, mmm... Right, mm. no, yeah, yeah. But the fact it's cutting off, is that's what's making it sound fucked up. But that particular track is kind of weird, anyway. <laughs> oh, this area. Occasionally a note gets out and sustains itself. I don't know, maybe the developers of this particular emulator are just like, yeah, everything's a red book. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll do the uh, sound emulation dead last. Well, this is Remind also you. one of those emulators where everything's like plug-in based, so... Yeah. Very well could just be a bad plugin. Remember um, Final Fantasy VIII and I think Seven as well. Like they also just used chip tune, uh, chip tunes for most of its music. I think it's just to save on load times. I, I imagine. It all it honestly. It added uh, kind of uh, weird continuity in music between the SNES game. Oh, yeah. Kind of, yeah. I mean, the uh, Super Nintendo sound chip was actually made by Sony, so there's even connective tissue there. Thank God <laughs> we don't have to manually input the pass number. Yeah, right? Hey, that's me. Don't hell? do that. I was eating my twin brother. <laughs> really fucked up backstories they put in the in these games. Like if you read between the lines, you know. I love <laughs> how the one on the ground wasn't even dead. We had yeah. to knife it a bunch. Game theory: Resident Evil One, the zombie twin brothers. 
<laughs> oh, game theory, are all the zombies in Resident Evil 1 brothers? Because they kind of look good. <laughs> I only need a knife. I wish I was this confident playing this game. <laughs> the neatly placed uh, herbs here. <laughs> Still picking everyone up. You don't... Ugh. I'm taking a single hit, but, you know... Enough weapons to, uh... Supply an army, enough herbs to supply a hospital. I, I don't know how medically accurate that is, though. If you just rub <laughs> plants into your wounds to heal them. Honestly, all I'm thinking about is when I see that, uh... This costume on Jill. Like... The most experience I have playing Jill in a video game is in VC2. Good. <laughs> I do love they had the little, like, uh, health sensor thing. It's like part of her assist where she gives the, uh, gives oh, yeah. herb and then it actually has that there. She's a weird <laughs> character, in... too, because it was, like, essentially a zoner. But not because she used a lot of weapons, but because she used a lot of zombies. <laughs> yeah. They kind of love that, uh, because that's, that kind of was Frank, Frank West's West. thing. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. I think he had way more weapons than she did. The type of punches a weapon. Capcom was very, like, he used the weapons as zombies as a zoner thing. Oh, yeah. And then they did Jill in MVC3, and it was that really stupid uh, RE5 design. Yeah, that was... And that also, like, really helped date it. Because, like, oh, this is the latest RE game, and it's, like, the... <laughs> it's, uh... Let's, let's just say not a most famous appearance. This is totally... Well, not even that, it was just, it was just kind of dumb, like, we just... Oh, that's yeah. dumb for a lot of reasons. I know this is getting off topic, but I actually watched, like, uh... Some of the super moves from MVC3 today. I totally forgot that her level 3 in that game was just, she doesn't walk anymore. All of her movements are dashes. Inclu she has like 8 way dash for like a brief time. It's really fucking weird. We'll get to RB5 eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a book. One thing I kind of forgot is, um... MVC3 really pushed Resident Evil. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like four playable characters, I think? Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Chris, Wesker, Jill, Jill. and Nemesis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose it is a long-running series, though. I guess you can just hide it a bit. Although... True. <laughs> but it was like... RE5 heavy as well, though. Right. It's like very specifically RE5 versions of uh, Jill, Wesker, and Chris, and then just Nemesis because he's famous. Yeah, that was the weird thing. It was all kind of like relevant stuff aside from Nemesis. Like that made a lot more sense. Wow. It's a Namco cross second thing. I don't know why I thought you said that as in, like, they were going to see a dinosaur with a T-Virus. <sighs> Animal attack? Woman mutilated. Man, the headline smash is not as funny as it used to be. I love the one they refer to it as, like, not Raccoon City, but just Raccoon. The Raccoon Police. Yeah, I think they use yeah. the, uh, RCPD. Later on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, but if you're looking crazy. for adventure, go play with these fucking animals that are out to hurt people. We are a responsible <laughs> newspaper. You know what would have been fun? Doing this, like, chronological... Oh, primeval forest. Oh, God. 
I should say chronologically, it's the most of the series chronological is only zero. It's not as crazy as uh, I initially thought. <laughs> the one that is labeled zero is in fact the prequel, and that's it. Should have recalled it as an evil alpha in the West. Why you don't evil alpha? I just heard you saying Arthur. I was like, what? Where did you go, Arthur? <laughs> you know, from Ghouls and Ghosts? Yeah, there you go. I know I there are series, lot. though, like, if you watch them in chronological order, it'd be so weird. But this one, not so much. Street Fighter would be fucking weird. Oh, God, yeah. What would that be like? Street Fighter 1, Street Fighter Alpha, like the whole trilogy, Street Fighter 2, then 4, 5, four, five 3? Three. Yeah. But even then, it's like each one's like three games. <laughs> of course, the question is some of those are like, are do the upgrades replace or. Yeah, do they actually have different stories in most of those, or...? I think Alpha 2 replaced Alpha 1, but Alpha 3 was a sequel, I think. Yeah, probably. But it's weird, though, because, like, Charlie dies, like, twice, I don't know. <laughs> I think uh, Street Fighter 3 was the same thing as, like, Second Impact, which is straight-up considered a replacement for their first effort, I think. It's weird. Capcom, I don't even think they know. I'll give Resident Evil this though, like the, the, the story is kind of flushed out if you want to like dig around. Like it's, from what I know, it's pretty consistent. There's nothing really too contradictory in any of these mainline games. Yeah. Unless you want to get into the weird spin-offs. We should do Resident Evil Survivor, Jesus. The House of the <laughs> Dead knockoff. ARPA showed us some of that. He, I think, <laughs> owns it. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, uh, something. There's two kids and they just show up in Vacuum City and they have English accents for no fucking reason. <laughs> You're like, what? Uh huh? I think someone would normally be fine with it. I'm just gonna like, what? Uh, what? We kind of just gave up on the hunters, didn't we? We kind of killed them all. <laughs> yeah, they were, you know... A threat until we killed them. It's this game's one weakness if you decide to kill the enemies. It, it, it's yeah, but there's also you know like knifing everything and not missing a single shot. Like, you would not be that like careless with a knife because that's the other thing I'm saying. I'm, I keep talking about ammo conservation, but it's also health conversation because there's only so many herbs in the game. So you want to be careful with that as well. And you don't want to take any unnecessary risks. It's, it, that's the balance. The balance is, do I use up this ammo to keep myself safe, or do I try and run past but get bitten oh, to save ammo? Yeah, it's mowers on it. Mode is up and die. I feel like if I was playing this game, I would probably just learn how to use the knife effectively. For anything that it actually can again, kill. it it's it's not that reliable though. I mean, you can use it. Yeah, I mean, it's not, they're they're safe scumming here. They're not like if you they get too close, they will grab you, bite you, and take off like a third of your health. It's not like not, Resident Evil 4 where you can quite reliably just use a knife. I'm not saying I'd have a good time with it, but I'm saying that naturally <laughs> I would assume that I want to kill the enemy, so if I had to conserve my ammo, the knife would be the way to go. Even if it you was... Should, yeah, I'm a, you should use a knife if you can. Like, if you're confident enough. Yeah, you should. Uh, it is encouraged that you use a knife whenever possible. But that's... A lot of the time that's like shooting them until they fall over, then switching to the knife to stab them a bunch. But, but again, I'm not an expert on this game. I'm not. 
I'm not that good at it. I also played the DS version where I always had the knife map to a trigger. So I could always just easily just shoot them a bit and then just stab them a bunch without having to go into a menu or use up my inventory slot. Oh, okay. Hey, he's here. I guess he's that one from the cutscene. Yeah. I guess. No, because he never opened that door. Oh. No, because <laughs> we killed that one. That's the one that came in after we did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a friend of theirs. That was the last third. Which is, uh... Yeah, this game's very much divided into three sections. A little bit of overlap. I kind of forgot how basic the enemies are in this first game. <laughs> but I suppose it's just the novelty of zombies, you know? They weren't trying to, like, top themselves. That was a selling point at some point in time, yeah. And before it became really oversaturated. Yeah, that's, it's easy to forget there was a time where, like, any zombie video games were kind of novel. Until they were in fucking everything, including, like, games that otherwise they have no place being in. And fucking Call of Duty zombies or whatever, like, what? Again, yeah, very primitive, very experimental game. Made me think of the fact that my uh, favorite use of zombies is in Metal Slug, a series that just didn't need them. <laughs> but well, at least that's like a they do everything there. Yeah, they do yeah. everything. They do mummies and all sorts, you know. Giant crabs. I don't think they have to justify themselves that much. That's too zombies too far. Yeti's <laughs> fine. Very serious. Are we going to circle? Oh, yeah, okay, because you got to fill low. <laughs> okay, just skip the cutscene this time. You've seen it. Just play the FMV backwards. <laughs> and save a uh, CD space. Oh, and that's why it opens the waterfall. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh no, it's zombie Tim Allen! <laughs> oh god. Oh, Jill! Oh, Barry! What good timing! I'm on the shot in the head with the magnum. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. <laughs> you can just say no. Let's go. Just, okay. You can say no, yes. Let's hurry. What a fucking weird hey, thing to say. Are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. Okay. Let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. The dialogue's in English, but it's clearly written by a non-English speaker. Yep. That's like, just not how people speak. Uh oh, that's radioactive. Oh. Basic this area is without Lisa Trevor chasing you around. Should say, I have played the... The remake more recently than the, this original version, so this kind place of in my mind. This place looks like a texture. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this this don't like this cave. They hadn't quite mastered the art of uh, unlocking. Making, yeah, unlocking decent environments. <laughs> Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Oh, those yeah. berries. You're alive. Damn it! Right there. That's Are my favorite anybody, line. Jill? What? Oh yes. 
Enrico. So, Barry and Jill together. Are you all right, Enrico? Yep. The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. I thought you meant like Everything in the sky. From the, start by Umbrella. Huh? the stars are doomed. Enrico! <sighs> What is this? So he was just shot, right? Like that wasn't yeah. just weird sound design? Yeah, yeah. So Wesker shot him. Uh, hey, who said it was Wesker? From. How dare you suspect Mr. Sunglasses indoors, <laughs> Wesker? <gasps> I, I don't know what all those. I don't know enough about how all those choices with the. Barry would affect the outcome of that. I talked over my favorite line, damn. Yeah, I didn't get to hear it. No. I just love that there's just a guy saying, yeah, in just like the most <laughs> exaggerated fashion. <laughs> and I stole that from like a video I saw like 10 years ago and had no idea what the context was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure I'm dead? You're you can um, reload out of uh, the menu, but needless to say, it's a lot quicker just to combine in the menu. Oh, in fact, you in fact you probably know that from RE. Actually, could you do it now? RE five? I don't know about you five. I know you could do reload. it in four, right? Definitely four. Yeah, yeah. you can do it in four. I am familiar with it. You could just freeze time in order to reload. I'll also, I love that fucking, uh, that fucking desk with a, uh, typewriter <laughs> there for no reason other than we need to save point down here. Yeah, they usually could look relatively, like, natural, but that one's, like, really sticks out. You know, for the caveman who like to write his journal. I wouldn't mind owning a typewriter, just to, just to say I own one. Kind of okay, you're having devices. fun with this, because, uh, I don't know if you needed to rotate it this much. Actually, I don't know why you needed to rotate it at all. This actually is a puzzle in Zero Escape. What the shit? Oh, I had that. Uh oh. <laughs> dun 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 <laughs> I just what I like about the environment is that you could theoretically like, you can map it out in real life because everything is connected, you know. I feel like that would have been a lot better if they didn't just show a cutscene of that thing walking up on you. <laughs> actually kind of surprise you if you actually started walking and then it's like, oh, what's that sound? Oh, it's one of them, but no, they just fucking, here I am! How did it dodge the boulder? <laughs> oh, I guess it was back there, sure. Oh no, a door! Uh, oh, well, I mean, there's a spider oh, behind you, that's, uh, cause for alarm. So, Bob, is, is your favorite enemy in Resident Evil? Oh yeah, I love spiders. I've always found that effect so bizarre when, like, a model in an older game, like, animates at a different frame rate. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, to slow it down, yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, I guess that saves on processing or whatever, but... Wait, is that just an extra knife they threw in this room just in case you didn't yes. use your knife to here? Yep. Jesus. That's exactly what that is. And I have to ask, what's the point? In case you forgot your knife. No, I mean, like, why would they put a thing there that requires a knife and then give you the knife? So it's like, hey... Well, the thing... The, well, the, the webbing slows you down so you can't run past the enemy. Yeah, it's, it's to force you to fight the boss. Although, 
speed runs will prove that's not actually necessary, but <laughs> yeah, in yeah, theory, yeah, it's to force you to fight the boss without it just dropping your key or something, because that's getting kind of old, you know? Reminds me of all the fucking Doom levels where you have to, like, you know, there's a big fight room and then you have to hit, like, three switches in three different areas to make sure that you don't just fucking run away. Oh, wow! Mm -hmm. Our maximum... We, we hit our maximum stack of 250, and so now we have two stacks. Oh, my God. Of, of uh, Turkish bullets. Let's see if we can get another 245 bullets. <laughs> Turkish bullets. It took me a second to think. I'm like, is that like a term? I'm like, oh right, yeah. <laughs> That's why he's oh, not geez. using up the bullets because he, he, as a fellow <laughs> bullet, he doesn't like seeing his friends fired out of a gun. The lore behind Turkish bullets. <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking about how he's holding bullets. I just kind of completely forgot That's his fucking name. Need these ink weapons. <laughs> you don't even need to stack them. Come on. Can't wait to see this guy play Resident Evil 4, which actually has like a grid you have to organize. Should... What's with oh, all these boulders that are just lying there, and then when you walk to them and walk away, they suddenly go? They have gonna the, say, the G virus. Um, They're sentient. I know how Chris handles uh, boulders <laughs> when playing five. You would just punch that shit back. I love uh, when I was looking through uh, NBC3 videos earlier, I noticed a comment where it's like one of the first things on like Chris's theme was just like, yeah. He can just punch boulders. <laughs> like, that's just his thing now. Why are we turning these things? Oh, I can see there is a, like, uh, there's a hole on the top. Oh, okay, this one. Right. Mm -hmm. I still don't understand uh, the other one we turned. Yeah, the first one, I didn't really see what was going on. Uh. Now the boulder's gonna fall into this pit. sake. We couldn't have turned <laughs> it the other way. No, she can only turn things clockwise. She's the master of locking, not the master of cranking. <laughs> master of crank calls. <laughs> you, the master of cranking. Oh, this room. I just remember this room from both this one and the remake for just being like... Probably the blandest fucking puzzle room. Like, there's... Oh, Jesus. Not, like, bland in terms of the puzzle, it's just kind of... <laughs> compared to, like, the mansion, it just seems really arbitrary. What the fuck? She can't pull it, so she had yeah. to use a wall fixture to push it away from the wall. Yeah. That is so so bad shit. That is, yeah, that is so video gamey. Yeah, that is not that's even what funny. I was saying, like, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's like, I don't know, like, everything else just tries to justify its existence in this setting, and then there's, then there's just that. It is like really bland, like featureless room as well. It's just what is this room? I don't know. It's a fucking puzzle. <laughs> it's like an underground area that just kind of ran out of interesting locales. Yeah, and this, like, turning hallway thing's like, it's kind of neat in concept, but in execution, it's just like, w w why is this tunnel here? Why have you done this? <laughs> and it's like a oh. Wolfenstein 3D tunnel, because everything's at 90 degree <laughs> angles. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why you found the Doom book there. <laughs> like, we wanted to go underground, because it would be cool, and it's a way to add more areas, yeah. you know, in a good way, but uh, we don't know how to underground. We don't know how to do, like, natural textures, we sort of get away with, like, very basic concrete and, like, wood, but not... 
not like natural formations. And I gotta ask, why was it all green? Is it vegetation down there? Or? Like moss? I don't know. <laughs> that that looks a little weird and confusing. Especially since you don't even necessarily realize what you're looking at from the previous camera angle. So the shit gets real. Real inventory management. <laughs> Enter the world of inventory management. That's what oh, hey! Do. Why did they specifically keep standing on those, like, <laughs> transition points? <laughs> That's just, you literally took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> I want to make this as frustrating to watch as possible. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna run Christ. there. Christ, he's got an arm off! <laughs> uh, do these guys ever die? These are the- this is the final boss, the zombie brothers. <laughs> ah, two brothers! They start throwing hammers. <laughs> Why are there all the Mo disc? Uh, I think this is to rescue Chris, if I'm not mistaken, which I very well could be because I don't. Well, why I don't know this as well as. I assume it means M O. Yeah. Which means I guess we're getting evidence. I've kind of gone blank on what I, I, I do know what M O stands for, but I've just gone completely blank and I can't say what it is. It's like, what was it like, like modus operandi? Yeah, but well, that doesn't make sense. Like, 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 like OS's operating system, but it's not that. Oh, I got you, man. <laughs> she meant like ammo doesn't make any sense. Like in general, <laughs> it's like um. No, I get what you mean. Um. Hey, it's Ada. Oh, hi, Ada. Dumb. Well, I'm yeah. positive for zombie. I'll be something different. I'll be, uh... I don't know, four games ahead? I mean, this isn't contradictory. She did pose as a researcher's uh, girlfriend or wife. Ah. So, but I forgot. I actually forgot she was name-dropped in this, so that's pretty cool. I'll be honest, I, I genuinely don't remember that. anything about her other than how she looks. Okay, cool. Well, we'll get to that. On. Ada! <laughs> was Very it, important. It's an abbreviation? I just love it when, like, they'll take, like, minor things from games and, like, oh, well, it's actually, like, turn that into a thing. Yeah. Uh, I actually could have <laughs> almost figured that out without that. <laughs> yeah, it was all just, like, mirrored. <laughs> it's, that wasn't that. Anyway. Oh, I didn't around, notice I that. But I like that th it solved it to show us that those things are, in fact, a man, a woman, an apple, and a tree. <laughs> well, it's the 90s. Nothing special. This game is nothing special. Oh. Oh. I'm lying. How do you know that? Oh, this bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love Umbrella OS. I love everything. Oh, awesome. <laughs> everything is hopefully <laughs> labeled. I hope my Umbrella uh, PC doesn't get a virus. Uh, <laughs> it's a row, please. 
Oh my god, it is actually an OS. I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> With the word operating system, the most evil operating system. I, I just love that the monitor and the keyboard are both branded as well. The monitor's branded twice. And of course the uh, password is the name of their daughter. I guess they're like Apple who just have to have every own every single part of the computer. Try enter password. Uh enter? The password is mole. Interesting. Oh, oh, that's, oh, it's <laughs> Bang! Well, we are a master of unlocking, so... Uh, I kind of love that animation. Good. That's great. That's something I would do. Because I'm a <laughs> child. You've done it several times watching this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every time we finish a long uh, watch, I'm just like, yeah. That's a rap, baby! Bang! <laughs> For, for for all like the concessions they had to make for this game, I just love this. Like for those few character models that are in this game, they took the hand time to model those hands. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Poor zombie. Oh what? Uh, 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 I never get anyone visiting me down here. Hello. Oh. Advanced zombie. They're more like prototypes, I guess. Like they're probably like the original ones. Yeah. And then the like, the ones with like lab coats are ones that just got infected. Zombie conga line. <laughs> Still not using a gun. Like I would have just used a shotgun and just blow the heads Ooh. off, but three and one. It's a lot on screen. For... Excite! 1998! Oh. They're pretty tough compared to all the other ones. Yeah, because it's like the... the, the... Two types of enemies. There's the actual creations of a um, umbrella. Must destroy this memo as it is as soon as it is understood. <laughs> well, they didn't do that, did they? There's the there's the things that are creations of umbrella, but also the things that accidentally got infected. Even with like the Ganados in four, there's like ones that are deliberate creations, and then things that well, it's just the villagers. By curious coincidence, these events are proof of the success of our research. This, this shit is like really awful, but coincidentally, proves that uh, we're right. You know, these text documents are like comparatively well written compared to the spoken dialogue. Yeah, I was noticing you know? that. They probably put a lot of effort in them, or more likely, it's the, <laughs> the translators like. Oh, because that would probably be in Japanese originally. And then that was actually like translated by. Oh yeah, yeah, like the actual Resident Evil team, yeah, yeah. like Capcom USA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with the voice acting, they already caught in English. Are fucked? Genesis. Uh, maybe it's the the the, the number citation. I mean, That's... they do what Nintendo don't, so. <laughs> Yeah, it reminds me of Zelda One, where it, it's not great, but like the 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 opening like text, if you see the thing, is like way worse because it was originally English and they just left it. Yeah. I mean, why change it? You know. <laughs> uh. I like that stuck all the way to um, King of Fighters Twelve. Where it had like some really like weird English acting, but anybody that spoke Japanese, they bothered to actually translate it. 
but all the English stuff that was already there, just like, nah, screw it. It sounds good enough. Arving? Keith Arving, the room manager! Uh-oh! There's a name that you might uh, pass I by. If that, I wonder if that A Wesker's uh, related to Lido Stars. He's just A Wesker. Not D Wesker. Remaining document is. They scribbled all over it. God damn it. It just says it's unreadable, but it doesn't really say why. She was so bored, just like, I can't read this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, we're gonna give a big, right, detective uh, work. It's time for a big plot re revelation. <laughs> Again, like, you're supposed to play this, like, yeah, they're all, like, uh, Greek themed. Oh, a woman, sorry. Oh, hey, it's sunglasses! <laughs> I love you're not getting the character reacting to any of this. Yeah. Just, yeah, it's, that's like, always been kind of a thing. <laughs> Wesker's name is popping up. Gotta go. Ah. Uh, Zombies are bioengineered weapons, because... Fuck it. I'm curious how all this uh, plot would be absorbed if it wasn't like, you know, a super famous franchise or whatever. Because I suppose you could jump into it thinking it's just. I suppose it's possibly supernatural, maybe. Yeah. God, well, I mean, it, 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 do, it does seem to be like, before this, we know it's like there's definitely. As we go in, there's like pretty early we get a sign that there's like a whole company or what, whoever. I guess I guess the, the revelation is that it was done del deliberately. Yeah, but like really early on, we get that diary of the one guy uh, who eventually becomes. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I know that. It's just, uh... but it's it's not like oh we we made these monsters by. Meh. No, you're right. You're right. Kind of weird the whole munch is just a front for a lab. I do like what were they planning to do with the shark as a bioweapon? Like, what are Attack they going to do? Attack submarines? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that one seems pretty limited, let's be honest. Again, like, it's I mean, you're worst. really good at killing things in the water, but humans don't live there. <laughs> we'll come to find that Umbrella will inject the T-Rise into fucking anything just to see what will happen. They don't give a shit. Maybe they'll probably open its spawn arms and legs to run around. <laughs> Which, I mean, when you get to, like, the G-Virus, like, stranger things have happened. Just the this is just the exact same puzzle as that other room. Is G virus oh, the no, one from the... Uh, Dead Aim? I don't know shit about Dead Aim. Okay, but it's it's from RE2. Oh, okay. Arfa told me about the one in I think it was Dead Aim that has a weird uh virus. side effect. Yeah. We'll get to it, I assume. I don't know. Um, I haven't really played a lot of spin-offs of the series. Yes. There's a, I kind of feel there's enough mainstream games to get through. Yeah. I mean, this one, like, this puzzle, like, is, like, a puzzle as far as maneuvering all the things around. I mean, it, it's it's yet another Sokoban block pushing puzzle, but it's, like, an actual puzzle rather than just... It's also the literal same one where you covering up the vents before you press that identical looking button to release the gas. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the same goal, but this is like, that one was like, you just push them there. This one, like, you had to keep moving everything so that you didn't block other things. or Yeah, yeah. The wall and stuff like that. 
Oh, yeah, the one place I want to be here is the fucking morgue. <laughs> oh, God, they did a... They did a morgue in uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake, and that was... pretty memorable. Oh, right, these need specific machines, I forgot about that. Fucking umbrella, the Bible thumping as usual. I'm so sure they didn't do anything with those body bags, but maybe that was too obvious. <laughs> I'd hate to watch for umbrella. It just seemed like they would you get a very little time off or anything. The number of zombies in this area is kinda low. Except in like specific places like that quad zombie room. Yeah, I forgot how basic this level is compared to the, uh, the one that's in 2. It's a lot more of an adventure game than the combat. It is, yeah, like, especially with the puzzles. It's kind of weird, like, you're in the final area and you're like thinking, oh, it's going to be huge fights and everything's just like, no, we're going to emphasize puzzles. The toughest puzzles yet. Man, tree, apple. <laughs> Makes some sort of sense because this is where all their science shit is, and like that's where you can get a lot of puzzle shit going. But yeah, oh, don't worry, don't worry, bullets. Oh no, we didn't have enough room to uh combine. Bullets. We need 18, we need to save 18, we need to save 22 times. If they try to, like, fight uh, the final boss traditionally without cheating, it takes them 22 tries. That's why they've been hoarding all these ink ribbons. And maybe there's been, there's been no save state manipulation at all. That was just us. But they just really find this last bit. They've just been hoarding ammo just with this one bit. <laughs> Pistol ammo, specifically. These acid runs are useless now. Discard. <laughs> Why did you take the broken shotgun? 100% 100 items. Sorry. I'm curious if you, if you do get created for this. I, I cannot remember. Uh. Uh. This is oh, it's the noise room. This is where we keep all our noise. Hey, it's ceiling man. I wonder if this would be less obnoxious about the fucking sound cutting. <laughs> it was full of maggots. Well. Yeah. It's pretty gross detail. This is just the music of this area is wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Should hear the director's cut. It's just this, but it's a trumpet. I don't think these stupid things ever show up again. I was about to say, is this a known enemy? Uh, it's known for this game. <laughs> yeah, I think they're supposed to be like fly creatures, but they're just 
kind of dumb. They're like, hey, uh, here's a room specifically designed to have handholds in the ceiling. Again, when they do the like, RA2s, they'll come out with liquors and, and generally more interesting monster designs. Can't wait to leave this fucking area, Jesus. It's kind of funny how well I remember the mansion area, because obviously you spend so long there and it's the start of the game. But then, like, this lab, I'm like, oh, right, yeah. Kind of, there's the really noisy room. <laughs> We're busy producing sound. <laughs> And for his main export, sound. <laughs> we produce industrial sound. I can't tell if that was supposed to be like machinery or just an actual alarm. It's hard to tell because of the emulator. Bye. Bye bye. No, we've got to save these precious shotgun shells. Every time she runs into one of those, I mentally hear that that like gasp she does in NPC two when she summons a zombie. Three passwords, Jesus! It's just it's securing something very special, and they're all guess Bible what it verses. Is? Yes, because, uh... Jill? Is that you, Jill? Is it Barry? Oh, Chris, you're alive! No, it's, it's, it's Victor. Of course. Damn it, we're in quite a predicament, Jill. I know, Chris. Anyway, I have to open this room. Mankind it ill work. needs a savior such well, Chris, as you. I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? Thanks. <laughs> I'll be waiting here. I don't have a lot of choice. Will you wait here? I'm in the fucking jail. Yeah, is that like completely different from <laughs> the zombie arrested him? <laughs> he arrested himself. Jill, I've broken the law. <laughs> Mankind ill needs a savior such as me. <laughs> I just love it because like both cases of voice acting like pretty famous for being. And, like, not many people seem to have noticed it's literally the same voice. Although, to be fair, in this game, it's just, like, Barry is the star. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, the, nothing like this happens in this campaign, right? Uh, it's it Jill, Jill's in the oh, cell. right. And saving him is optional. Getting all those Bible verses is optional. It's part of the good ending. So yeah, um, there are endings where you were you were joking about uh, like uh, saving those precious shotgun shells, but uh, she didn't have any. Huh. Well, but then also not using the pistol. I don't know. This is weird. You know, we haven't used the pistol a single time, and we have what like five hundred rounds Jill. of it. I need you need five hundred bullets for the good ending. Jill. You're here, too. Yes, you're here, too? Look, <laughs> I lost my way. Let's get going. Is he trying to throw suspicion, uh, like the writer's trying to throw suspicion on him, even though... Yes. Ah. Even though, like, at this point, we kind of... Well, depends it's on what you Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, like, SK said, like, you didn't react to seeing Wesker in the slide, so it's kind of... Yeah, it's weird. well, I mean, you would see the A. Wesker name. Wesker? Maybe. You did a fine job, Barry. Oh, oh. Just as I thought. I think Just as I thought. I'm an idiot. Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. 
That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now. She sounds really annoyed. Monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mentioned mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Oh, I'm sad. Barry's such oh. a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. <laughs> I just used him for my personal purposes. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? <laughs> what if you were in charge? <laughs> you must stop this now. This is so confusing. You're a brave girl. These are English oh, words, but I'm being so confused my life. Big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. Jill, so you're, you're going stupid. To steal all the research and you're gay. Yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Oh. I like how oh. she's still armed. Barry. Oh, Sorry, the pistol Jill. whips and actual weapons. Your family. Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. Yes. So it's all been masterminded by him. Yeah. yeah. You know that now. Anyway, what? let's get out of this house first. <laughs> Jill. Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon called tyrant or something that name never came I up think. but do you think we could see tyrant i mean you did just say it. barry you're so optimistic it would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose maybe you're right let's go then i'm still stuck on the fact that she asked wesker why barry would do something when his family was being threatened yeah, why would he? He's like, why would, why would he want so, to save his family? I think Barry pistol whipping Wesker in the back of the head has something to do with the choices you make earlier. So, uh. so I don't think that always happens. Also, I forgot like his his uh, pistol whip in uh, RE5 was a reference to that. I just didn't even know <laughs> that, which is pretty great. Can a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. No, Jill, it's Shadow the Hedgehog. Not completely developed. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the prototype for Shadow was that live. big lizard, so who's yeah. to say it's also a prototype? <laughs> that must be the computer for monitoring this creature. You mean Biohazard? Known in the West as... Resident Evil? <laughs> well, it's Bio Lizard, so known as oh. the is, uh, Resident Lizard Evil. Lizard. Resident Lizard. Resident Lizard. That heart seems like a design flaw. What the fuck? You're bad at computers. <laughs> wow! The... Got a wall splat on that one. He was uh, lagging pretty hard though. <laughs> this thing doesn't look like at all different from its appearance in uh, MVC two. No. Like that is exactly how it looks, except it was a sprite. Yep. Why? Why? Why mess with the design? Yeah, this is like like kind of the first attempt at what we, you know you'd get with like Nemesis and Mr. X and them actually creating original Barry? monster designs Barry? instead of just fucking giant snakes. You're alive. 
Yeah, so stop pointing that bazooka at me that somehow shoots grenades. Uh, uh, I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> <That was close>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. I mean, I should be for that aim. <laughs> Getting clawed and nearly killed by a bioweapon is really embarrassing. <laughs> I believe I've been taken out by such a, a pansy. Fucking wimp. I think being killed what by a fucking ultimate weapon is uh, justified. Wesker must have set it off. There's not much time left for us. <laughs> the poor, the poor Simon's struggling to be heard. <laughs> the trick. <laughs> the intercom voice keeps trying to say things like emergency in sector three or something, but uh. Oh hi. Okay, Eli. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Merge, I don't know. Uh, 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 what's the point? No one's listening. <laughs> There's a thing. Gotta. Uh... <laughs> I was wondering where she was going. I probably would have let Chris die. Oh, the door opens now? Okay. Well, she unlocked it, but she said to wait oh, there. Jill. Oh no, no, you're so right. You, you couldn't open it. Waiting. What the fuck? So everything is done? Well, almost, yes. I just well, locked go. us both in here by accident. <laughs> I think the uh, the like thing going off was actually said to unlock all the doors. Yeah. More chance you escape if everybody gets to escape. Whee! Let's go! Ah! Mankind that guy really ambushed you. Mankind ill needs a BOW such as you. Hello. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh. Let's go. I'm glad you told me that. Let's -a go. I know uh, this music's like really like testing my stereo headphones. It's like <laughs> sweeping left to right. Uh, the guy in the background didn't get to his point, so he just keeps walking. <laughs> Chris, so, you're in my way, sir. He, ha he has a name. I couldn't tell you. Be so mean that. about Barry. How dare you be mean about Barry? Barry's always wearing red. That's his color. He is Barry. We all love Barry. Chris is always wearing. Land. We love Barry. No, Barry got his own game on the Game Boy. <laughs> See, three minutes. Oh no! You must be kidding. After we've come all the way here. Ladies first. Go first, Jill. But Chris. Give me a chance to play nice guy. No, what? Okay, I leave it up to you. See you again at the house. That made sense in Japanese. <laughs> Might have been looking for the word hero, but uh. Yeah. 
I was like immediately captured. Let me do something, and then he just goes does it off screen. Why did she go up alone? Ladies There's only first. one person on there, I guess. It's definitely a very large elevator, I, but ladies first. Well, you see, there was one of those safety stickers on there. Oh yeah. Maximum occupancy occupancy one. One lady. I don't know, there's something about her looking up at it and then looking back down, like, okay. My flare is gone now. No, don't go! <laughs> Clipping sound! Uh, 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 I'm distracted by the uh, fact that the timer actually matters for the cutscene. It's kind of a non-factor, honestly. Given it, it started just down there, and we haven't had any real gameplay. It started in the middle of a cutscene, and then we like to do. Some, oh, okay, here's where it matters. <laughs> uh, tyrant. Ah! Yeah, but it's it's also kind of weird that like all this cutscene stuff happened, so only you only really have like a minute thirty to fight this thing. But I mean, hey, I guess it's more it, realistic, yeah. so it's like. It just makes yeah, more sense. I, it is weird, but yeah. Ah, I'm on fire. Oh. Honestly, it just makes a lot more sense as opposed to time freezing whenever you're in a cutscene. We're just jumping arbitrarily. You know, Tyrant or Nemesis would actually make fine dead by daylight like killers, honestly, given their size and everything. That wouldn't be a stretch. Obviously, you'd have to be Nemesis, so you gotta go with the famous one. Which isn't even like, I don't think anyone considers the best RE game, which is kind of funny. <laughs> like, it's fine, but. You shot it enough. It's coming! Jill! Oh. Kill that monster! Come on, Amazon, Jill! What? You see, you're an Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that line. All right, well, you're you're queen of the jungle. You're finished. <laughs> she she did that like point blank. <laughs> His face are... Oh. And then the uh, the limbs start chasing you. No! Don't go! Okay, you're not. Don't come! Oh, wait. Don't worry, I'm a reliable. I, I checked to make sure there were zombies in my helicopter before I went in. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we saw that was like a transition, but no, it's supposed to be the mansion blowing up. There's our hero, Chris Redfield. He saved us all. I thought he was looking at me. Good job, player. Thank you for playing our game. What a weird fucking mash of CG and live action. Yeah. <coughs> it's up to us to stop Umbrella. Is that the entire ending? Please tell me. Oh my god. Eric! Charlie! Okay, I don't remember this thing the DS port didn't have it. Probably because it's super fucking silly? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look at all the crazy cinemaxes we could have. Yeah, that never happened. Yeah, what the hell? Look at the. If we didn't have pre rendered backgrounds, we could actually move the camera around. This music as well is great. This is like the ending to an 80s anime. Yeah. It's not kind of like the credits like a King of Fighters game or something. Kinda, yeah.
So we put Jill in the CBS too. Oh, pistol whip action. <laughs> Very pretty. Oh, it's called Still Dawn. Oh god, her aim's as bad as Barry's, uh... Thank you, Sin Shinji Mikami. Oh, it has other attacks! Oh. Yeah, it's part of this, the... What's going on with, like, the save states? He, he has... he can grab you and shit, but... I'm looking very pensive right now. It keeps track of that, but doesn't. You've got the special <laughs> find closet. <laughs> I like how it's Japanese quote marks around yeah. closet too. I think you, yeah, that's the uh, unlocking the rocket launcher. Better save. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, I guess we actually see the typewriter in use finally. So this was saving. <laughs> this was saving. Well, that was the thing. Yeah, very kind of primitive and basic stuff. Yeah. Uh, but it gets, it does. I'll tell you for a bite, it gets more interesting than that. So I, I'm well aware it's a little, <laughs> it's a little slow. I know that. Yeah, but, but I'm I mean, not oblivious to that. But. I mean, yeah, it's you know, like you said, it's like the Sonic the foundation. Room. Yeah, you can't skip it though. Yeah, and that voice acting is great.